Welcome to ECLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics. Our topic for today is linear motion and our subtopic is distance time graph. So we are going to, since we talked about speed, acceleration and velocity, for today we are going to focus on speed but now using the graph as our basis for interpretation. So when distance is usually plotted against time, a distance time curve is usually obtained. So for example, this is a sample of a distance time graph and you can see the distance is in meters, the time is in seconds. So you can see the, how the speed is increasing steadily and then it stagnates and then decelerates or reduces so when describing the motion of an object, object, you try to be as detailed as possible. So sometimes when you're interpreting the graph, you can be taught to explain what, is hap what happens from a region to a region. So for example, uh, during part A of the journey, the object travels at eight, uh, 8 meters in 4 seconds. So it is traveling at a constant velocity of 2 meters per second. As you can see, you can see the part A. You can see its travel for eight meters. You can see that from the graph, uh, and it is in four seconds. So it's 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 traveling at that velocity. And then during part B of the journey, the object travels uh, zero minutes in three seconds. So you see, it is stationary. That's the reason why the the time is increasing, but the distance is not changing. And then during part C of the journey, the object will travel at 8 meters, but you can see it's negative because we are decelerating back to the starting point or our reference point. So you notice the velocity is going to be negative. So we have this question. This table shows the distance covered by a motorist from Kimuru to Kisumu. So we have the time and distance through the distance time graph. So the first thing you do is draw the graph. So you need to be able to choose your axis correctly. And we said it is distance over time. So we can start with time. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, around six hours. So from nine to 10, you can pick one hour at a time. So this we can start at 9 and then at 10 and then this is on the x-axis and then we have 11, uh, 12, then uh, 1 and then 2. So and then on the, on the distance which is on the y-axis we started with 0. So we are going to, the highest distance is going to be 310 and we have, when you are choosing the, the scale, you make sure you count the number of squares that you have. So in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and our highest distance is 310. So we can pick 20, 20, 20. So we can start with 0, 20, uh, 40, uh, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240 and 260. It's not yet enough, but you can add uh, yourself with what we have at the moment. You can be able to draw at least more more points in uh, from our table. So at a distance of zero kilometers, so zero kilometers, uh, time was zero. So everything the first point is at the beginning at 9 a.m that is at 9 a.m the, dis the distance was zero and then 
at 10 the distance covered was 80 so it increases to this point and then at 11 the time the distance covered by 11 was 160 and then at 11.30, so we want to take a half of this, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to go with this. So let's calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one here. And then at 12 noon, that is here. To be at 210 so it goes half to 210 so it's in between so one two three four five here and finally at 310 which we do not have so we are going to leave it at that so make sure you join your points with a straight the uh, with a straight line use a ruler where possible so let's correct that so this is what we have. So I I did a sketch there. So you just use your ruler. You get straight line from all the points. So this is just a sketch. So we're going to use the sketch so that you can be able to see how we interpret. So use the graph to answer the questions that follow. How far was the motorist from Limuru at 1030? So you come to 1030, which is a half of this. So it's going to be two, three, four, five. It's going to be here. So at this point, so it's going to be a hundred and twenty kilometers. And then what was the average speed during the first part of the journey? When you talk about the first part of the journey, we are talking about this part, this first um, part before uh, constant. This part. And this first part, it traveled at a distance of 160. So 160 kilometers. And then the time taken, remember at 160, it's 11. And the journey started at 9. So it tells you that we had traveled for two hours. So 160 divided by 2 is going to give us 80 kilometers per hour and then what uh, was the average speed for the whole journey so if for example we were to use our we were to use our table where we had up to 310 because we don't have that in our graph so you'd take the final distance remember 310 will be part of the points that you get so you can you're going to take 310 that is the total distance kilometers and then um you're going to take the number of hours so if you count the number of hours from 9 a.m to 1 p.m you can check that out so 9 a.m to 10 a.m to 11 a.m to 12 a.m PM that is and then to 1 p.m. Let's count the number of hours. We have one, two, three, four. So we have four hours. So this is going to be the total is going to be 310 divided by 4. So this is going to give us 77. 0.5 and it's going to be kilometers per hour because this was hours. So that's how we interpret the graph. So the, the major thing when it comes to drawing uh, distance time graphs is to ensure you have the correct um, scale. Make sure your graph is covering at least more than a half of your uh, graph paper, not less, more than so you can adjust your scale until it gets to a, a situation where it's not too small and it's not too big use a ruler to connect to your dots make sure at least you fill 90 percent of the dots of the points that you've been given because you get marks for each and every uh, plotting that you do for each and every point 
and then after that just apply the formula most of the time you'll be asked to calculate the average speed calculate the distance covered calculate the time taken so it's going to be in between like uh, the conversions are going to be between distance time and speed so make sure you remember the formula and don't forget for average speed is different because you need to add all the distance that is covered over all the time that was taken so that's it for today so that was just a sample you can get more revision questions especially on drawing the graphs and interpreting them on the app and also not the same see you in the next lesson